It's now been confirmed at least 59 people died after being run down by a speeding train during a Hindu festival on Friday. It's India's worst rail disaster this year, as Eliza Philippides reports. Dalbir Singh will not be coming home to his wife again. He was just one of the thousands celebrating Dashera, the festival marking the triumph of good over evil. Families and friends were out watching a burning effigy of the demon king Ravan as part of the festivities on Friday when the train ploughed straight through them. Watching the fireworks from the train tracks, he, like so many others, did not hear the fast approaching train. Grieving relatives have been scouring the blooded fields for anything their loved ones left behind. But anger is growing at the authorities over why the festival was allowed to be held so close to the train tracks. When they have to get votes, they come along to beg from home to home. They did not come to see that our children have died. We should get justice. Local hospitals were overwhelmed with the number of people needing treatment. They quickly ran out of space for the dead and were forced to leave some bodies outside. Police now say bodies were so badly dismembered that it will take days to identify many of the victims. India's railway board has denied responsibility for the accident and the killing of those run down by the train. So far, the Punjab chief minister has declined to comment on the likely reason behind the accident, but says he is committed to finding out what happened. We are announcing a magisterial inquiry under our uh, commissioner who will hold a magisterial inquiry and give us a report within four weeks. The disaster near Amritsar in the north of the country has led to new demands for safety reforms to India's accident-plagued railway system, which records thousands of deaths each year. The government say they're keeping fares low for the 23 million passengers who use the network daily. But after decades of underinvestment, critics say this has left public safety at risk. Eliza Philippides, BBC News.